All right, guys, uh, welcome back. All right, this is a continuation of me building my, my deck. Truth about how to do it. This is the unfiltered, pretty much how I'm doing it. There's different techniques out there, but I find in my skill set, it makes more sense the way to do it the way I'm approaching it. All right, so I just hope this uh, can help you guys out. Again, this is not the, I'm not saying it's the correct way or the right way, but it's my way of me building this foundation. Now, as you can see, um, as you know before, I got all the grass up, dig some trenches about two inches down, say about a foot apart, all right, for the blocks. Now, initially what I was gonna do is just fill everything up with gravel and, just, and try to line it all up or level it out. But I found it easier for me. What I did is simply, I got the four corners, this corner, that corner, that corner, and that corner leveled, all right? It's all leveled in all four corners. And now what I'm gonna do now, get to my center, my center beam, all right? These are 16 feet long. So I'm centered on eight feet. So now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, level out the center block from here to here, to the end, Let's see. to here. All right, so once I get that leveled, I'm gonna have all four corners level here, 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 and it's centered. Then once that's all, those points are all leveled, everything else is just gonna be backfilled because they're all gonna go along the four corners, the middle, and the side. So I hope that makes sense to you. I just found that I think that was much easier for me to deal with than trying to spread this all out and trying to get it all leveled at the same time. Concentrate on the corners, that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. Now, that's just to get a level. Once you get a level, then you're gonna have to get it squared. And what I'm doing, if you could notice, what I did, I marked my beams, 16 on the center, right there. All right, I marked them all along with that one also, all right? So what I did, I just pretty much took the two beams, butted them together and got my measurement. So my measurement is the same from here and same here, all right? So they'll both both be lined up. So when you drop my, when I drop my joists in, all this is gonna take a little to the left or to the right to get it square. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. That's how I'm approaching it. And when also what I'm doing, I'm pre-drilling some holes each in center so it's make it easier when I put the dry, the dry, oh not dry wall, the deck screws through, it'll go through much easier. All right, so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm trying to get my center done. Once the center done, then all I have to do is just line up my, my, uh, my bricks. I hope that makes sense to you. Yeah, this is the way I'm doing it. So let me continue on. Um, what I'm gonna do now, again, I'm just setting up my center block now to get that level. So my four corners are already leveled. That here, here, there, and there. All right, so now I'm gonna do the middle. And so once all these points are leveled, everything else is just back filled and just makes it much easier for me. So let me set the timeline, so I hope that makes sense guys. And let me continue on. guys uh give you an update what i'm doing here as you can see i'm starting to lay down my joists now now the way i'm approaching it i took my two long pieces two by six by 16 there and here and i marked i 
but in the gut and marked all of my Joyce's 16 on center, as you can see by the marks there. So once that's done, what I'm doing, I started with the corners first, all right? I got my four corners and my corner piece here all leveled, all right? Over here, right there, right there. So all of these are leveled, all right? And so what I'm doing, since these are all leveled, now I'm going row by row, dropping my blocks in and making them leveled. All right, and as I'm going, as I'm making them level, I'm also squaring it up over there. And I'll do the same when I attach this here. So that's how I'm approaching it. It may seem kind of long, but again, I'm a one man show and this is the easiest way for me to do it. All right, I'm dropping my gra gravel and I'm backfilling it where I need to come up high or taken out when I need to take out each one. So. I have 33 blocks that's giving me support for this deck. It may be overkill, but reason why, because I'm putting a gazebo on top of this. So I want this to be a nice foundation for that gazebo. All right. And that's how I'm approaching it. All right, it's coming along. It is a durable project, but it is a backbreaking project. The most difficult part I could say about this is trying to get all your, your pavers or your blocks leveled and centered. All right, so again, the easy way for me to do it, I did the, the corners first and then followed those ends, like the middle, uh, to follow in suit. So I got all of these nice and leveled and in place. So now I'm just gonna drop each row. The, pretty much this is my master. You can call it a master row. So everything's gonna be falling off this row here and here. All right, because this is all leveled and all I have to do now once it's leveled, make sure I'm squared with each joist I'm putting in and I'm good, all right? And that's pretty much it. It is squared from here, it is squared over there. And again, when you go back, I'm not gonna fine tune it, just to make sure. Um, I should put a, a piece here to here so it doesn't shift too much, but eh, I might do it, I might not, all right? but I'll make sure it's square before I lock everything down. And that's all to it, guys. Uh, that's uh, all I have for you right now. So I think, again, thanks for joining me. This is the real truth on building the deck. A little workarounds, how I'm approaching it. And that's that. Oh yeah, let me give you another tip. All right, guys, I just wanna bring it home to you guys, considering doing this. Guys, when you pick up your 2x6s or 2x8s or whatever you decide to get, I'm using 2x6x12s. Uh, when you buy these things from the local lumber, the edges are never straight, all right? And you'll know that when you take a you know, the carpenter square, you, you butt it against and you'll see this edge is always out of whack. So you must cut it at this end to get that straight line. Now, once you do that, you go to the opposite end and cut the length that you need. All right, this is a, a 12 foot length, but they're always longer than 12 foot. They're not old, they do not come out of, out of the lumber yard exactly 12 feet. All right, they give you a, a couple inches or like an inch or two inch longer. So you can just do this to make sure you get it nice and flush. So cut one end first, take the ends off, measure out. 12 feet which i'm doing and cut that to length and then you have a nice clean cut so when you line up all your joys everything's nice and and flush so just keep that in mind make sure you do that all right for your first timers all right these are just obvious tips that's not always emphasized when you look at these youtube videos so that's what i'm trying to clear up and things i'm doing all right all right and that's it so let me continue on with this all right, so that's a tip I need to give you. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna continue on uh, with my time lapse and getting this done. I know I'm gonna probably hear a lot of comments that well, you should have did it this way, you should have did it that, that way. Again, guys, I'm doing it this way for my skill set. all right? I'm doing it by myself and I feel it's easier for me to do it this way. I may learn another trick later on, but right now I'm fine how I'm doing it now, all right? Guys, again, 
Studio Raid Boys and the Toys. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like, subscribe, and stay with me as we uh, continue building this deck. Later. Alright guys, I got everything done, as you see, got all my boards in. Now, let me show you what I ended up doing. I made some mistakes, didn't know how I did it, I thought I had everything leveled out, but it was no biggie, alright. Remember those ends you have to cut and make these all flush, alright. Let me show you these things like this, alright, save these, don't throw them out immediately, alright. Because what I end up doing, for some reason or another, I thought I had everything going this direction leveled. But when I got to the end and started attaching it, I was just seriously off. <laughs> Not seriously, but you know, off than I than I thought I than I thought I was closer. But nevertheless, instead of me picking up all these bricks and trying to level it up again. What I end up doing is just simply using these things, these shims. As you can see, sometimes there were some gaps, like over there, and over the gap, another gap over there, another gap. I may come back and lift these up and try to level the brick out a little better, but if it's, you have a little spaces, sometimes you're gonna have a little, excuse me, sign fire department, but you're gonna have a little spaces, this does not be perfect. You know, trying to get it all level and perfect, you'll be here all freaking day. So what you take these, take those little things and just put it in here to shim it out. All right, to fill those gaps. You can see I got another one right there, right there. It's no biggie. All right, again, this is a floating deck. Um, you just don't want a serious gap. So just use the shims from the press of treat it, put it in there, and that'll hold it for you. All right, go all the weight and everything's gonna be right in there. It's not gonna move it. So I just want to show you that little trick. If you're having trouble, um, unfortunately, I had a few gaps, like you can see over here. For some reason, I thought I was a little closer and leveling it. So I ended up throwing a little piece of shim in there just to, so it's not that much of a gap. So those things you can do if you don't want to come back and try to get this great uh, paver base and trying to lift this up, cause it's, it's very time consuming, it, it, it really is. So try to get as close as possible. You get a little gap, just use these things as little shims. As you can see, I threw it right in here for that little shim. No big deal, all right? It really isn't, all right? Cause once I get this all down, I'm gonna tie it down. And once you put all your, your deck in everything, no one's ever gonna see it. It's not gonna shift, it's not going anywhere. So I just wanna show that little tip to you so don't get all anal about it. And as you go along, all right, just make sure you have a square. And as you t tighten this in, make sure everything's square, like this one's in. And so each one, before I tighten it in, I make sure it's, it was square. And again, pre-drill it, put at least three screws in it, and you're good to go. All right, later on, what I'm gonna do, let me show you guys. I end up picking up my hangers here. 
So now I got everything pre-fitted. Everything's all fitted. So I'm gonna come back with this and just tie it down like that for this. All yeah, right, and that's gonna be extra, extra secure on this deck. All right, so everything's done. It's all leveled and plumbed and whatever you want to fucking call it. Excuse my language. <laughs> But uh, it's done, finally. And I'm happy. This is the most most time consuming, trying to get this space down right. Okay? Everything's going to be on top of this. All right, guys. I hope uh, that helps you out.